Well, hello everyone. I'm Yanni from bu for You Gaming, and today I want to show you a new type of game. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna make this a full playthrough. Uh, I was considering it, but I'm not quite sure how it's gonna work as a let's play. So uh, for now, it's just gonna be a first look because I do like to uh, I like to try out different types of games um, but I also like to show you guys different types of games out there and uh, just to just show you guys what's actually there because there's so many different types of games and of course some kinds of games you don't really like and other kinds you do and uh, that's one of the amazing things about gaming that there's more or less something for everyone um, but I found this one really interesting and I actually couldn't find a let's play or anything of it uh, on YouTube so uh, I have no idea what to expect because I've never played something like this before but it's called Home Mystery uh, in Charm's Way and it's a comedy text adventure that was released on in October of 2017 so just last month and uh, it's developed and published by Bob Bates LLC uh, and uh, yeah <laughs> it's uh, it doesn't have any graphics and there's no sound as you can hear it's very uh, quiet I might end up putting some music in the background I haven't I don't know I'll see afterwards uh, or I will just leave it as it is so you guys get an idea of what it uh, what it's like and of course if you were playing a game like this yourself you could just put some music on in the background uh, but let's uh, take a look at it uh, you there's no option to uh, go full screen uh, so i've just maximized the window then there's the options and all you can do in here is kind of change the the colors if you don't really like the colors in the game you can change the font you can uh, control plus double click paste current word soft scrolling i don't know what all this does uh, enable screen re enable screen reader compatibility mode um, enabling this option will disable the menu based interface for the hint system it will also disable page pauses meaning that if the game outputs more text than can fit in the window you will not be prompted to press space to scroll to the next screen full of text. Enable this option if you're using a screen reader. Okay, uh, well I think I'm just going to leave everything on default. And you can uh, even uh, sh save your save games to Dropbox if you're using something like that. But yeah, I have left everything on default and that is, that, that's the only options you have. And of course you can watch the credits for the game, but let's see. Enable screen reader compatibility mode. Now oh, it's for if you're visually impaired and want to use a screen reader, you can do this. Um, no, I don't think we're going to need that. Oh wow, okay. Lab exits north and east. Thomas Street in Chant Way by Bob Bates. Okay, we have a menu, we have a map, zero out 100 of something. Okay, Inculab, Inc. Dear Mr. Knight, congratulations on your fifth anniversary of residence in our business incubator. Unfortunately, despite the undeniably, unfortunately, despite the unden undeniable Mackay value of your name, there is growing sentiment within our facilities committee that your lab space might be better assigned to a more, shall we say, prolific inventor. The committee meets tomorrow evening and I'm afraid that nothing short of demonstrating your new laser will prevent them from taking action. On a more positive note, following the latest in a series of bizarre accidents that keep hospitalizing your lab assistants, I have signed up a brave new crop of candidates for you to interview. They will be waiting outside your door first thing in the morning. Uh, Charles, what does it say? With a spoon or something like that? President for Inculab Inc. Um, okay, so his lab assist assistant seems to get hurt somehow all the time. <laughs> hmm, okay. 
You crumple up the letter in your fist. They, there it is in a nutshell. Your name has Mackay value and you were once on the cover of Invent magazine. Yet you believe you are a failure and now the Inculab people obviously agree. You feel like an imposter, alone and isolated, a man without a stripe. Still only half awake, you look up from the letter you were clutching in your hands when you fell asleep last night and you survey the room. The lower Manhattan space supplied by Inculab is tiny, even by startup standards. Anyone coming in the hall door would immediately start tripping over various pieces of equipment scattered around the place. Your latest invention sits on a table alongside an old TV. Your lab stool is piled high with a bunch of old journals. Your oft-repeated claim that you don't live at the lab is given the lie by the ancient fridge, the microwave, and most especially by the futon where you have slept the last three nights. The walls are mostly bare except for an old framed magazine cover and a warning notice posted on the closet door. You could try commands like read notice or look at magazine, or if you would like some tips on how to play this type of game, just type help. Uh, okay. Um, okay, we notice then. Like I said, I've never played a game like this, so. Ooh. Property of Inculab. Under no circumstances is this closet to be opened. Oh. Okay. Well, look at the magazine then. Magazine. It's a 10-year-old cover of Invent Magazine with your picture on the front and the headline Teen Genius wins $100,000 prize. Oh. Okay, what if we say uh, look at fridge? Is that something we can do? Oops, it looks like it dates, I beg your pardon. <laughs> It looks like it dates from the 1940s, but at least it's working. Oh, okay. So we can just look at anything. Look at TV. Left behind by a previous tenant, the TV is so ancient that it has no remote and can only be turned on by its knob. Even then, your bad luck with electronics often gets you a screen full of static instead of a picture. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, do, 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 do. well, what if we? I know we just read it, but let's see. Look at letter. You uncrumble the crisp white inkulab letterhead that you were once so happy to see. It says you must prove that your new laser works by the end of the day today, or else you'll be kicked out of the incubator. Looking at it. Also reminds you that there are a bunch of people lined up in the hall waiting to be interviewed. Hmm. Okay, is there anything else we want to... Mackay value. I don't really know what Mackay means, but okay. Um... The lower Manhattan space. Okay, well, let's say help. So we can learn how to play. Ooh, okay. Let's, uh, there we go. If you're looking for help with a specific puzzle, please type hint. If you want a quick overview of where you are in the game, please type review, recap, or think. Hmm. In this kind of game, you place yourself in the shoes of a character who is moving through the world, solving puzzles by manipulating objects and by talking to people. So it's important that you get a good sense of the objects that are available to you and the best way to do that is to look every time you enter a new space, uh, a new place and pay close attention to the descriptions on the screen. The next thing you should do is examine the people and things you come across as you explore. Doing so will give you critical information that isn't in the room description. To solve the puzzles, you'll need to play around with the objects you find and talk to the characters you meet. The easiest way to do this is with simple two-word commands such as open oven, examine, 
appliances, read sign. Okay, of course, some verbs take more than two words. Turn on, oh, we can even do that. Turn on TV, look in oven. And some actions require multiple objects. Throw book out the window. Unlock the door with the key. You can even do that stuff. Okay, to talk to characters, you can talk to them or ask or tell them about things. Talk to Jack, ask Bob about Fred, tell Fred about Mary. Unfortunately, the game will not understand questions using the words who, what, when, where, why, or how. Huh. Just to make it a little harder, probably. To cut down on your typing, here are some useful abbreviations. X, short for examine, as in examine object. L, short for look, as in look around. And I, short for inventory, to find out what you're carrying. Okay, I think I need to write a few couple of things down here. So we have X for examine. Oh, wow. This is... Definitely something new for me to try something like that. Do have you guys tried playing games like this? And if you have, let me know what you think of them. And if you know some cool ones, then I might be interested in checking them out. It's kind of an, a different way to um, play a game because you're so used to um, having, you know, the story told to you by looking at pictures and we even just had that. This is kind of almost the opposite of, of Submerged, which we have just finished, or, well, for me, it's Sunday, uh, so the last episode of Submerged will be coming out later today, and this one I'm going to release tomorrow on Monday. Uh, but that was a very different story, because you didn't really have words to tell you the story. You just had to mostly look at the, like, the pictures, or, you know, the story that we got from all these, like, secrets we found, we had to kind of guess the story based on that, or the story behind the children, how did they, they end up being alone? And then this is just very, very different, so we can, like, unlock things, and we can throw book out of the window. Okay. Um, okay, if you like even more help, type instructions. I'm just going to note that one down, but I'm, I'm just going to see if we can figure this out without doing that. Instructions. Okay. Um, oh, oops. We can do stuff like that. Other useful commands are undo. Oh, wow. I didn't even get all the way down, did I? Okay, C is short for wait, and Q is short for quit. Uh, I don't really want to leave the game, but okay, so Q is for quit, and oh, this is going to be interesting. But yeah, you, you'll have to let me know if you want to see more of it uh, than what I'm just going to show you here. It's just to give, give you an idea of what the, what, yeah, what the game is about. Okay, north, south, east, west, up and down. Uh, okay, we can type abbreviations if we want to. To get this out, that's probably a good one to have. A creations. Okay, then there's again a G which repeats undo. Oh, you can undo stuff. Oops, which lets you fix a typing mistake. If you type something like X chia, then oops, yeah, we'll fix it. This can be abbreviated to O. Save will let you save your progress to a file that you can name. And Restore will bring up the list of your saved files. Okay, well, I have no idea what we're supposed to do now, but we are supposed to interview some people. So how do we actually get them to <laughs> get into our, um, our um, area? Okay, there's a menu. Uh, we soon know the... Nope, not what we want. Map. Oh, there we go. This is like the only graphic you get in the game. There's a map, actually. Uh, okay, we can zoom in. We're in a laboratory. Chemistry, map, legend, pen, left mouse, or use arrow key. Aha, uh -huh. Hoboken, Rehawken, Manhattan Bridge. Okay, tab, switch world area. Okay, that's not really anything yet. Okay, well, let's see. 
what can we do? What do we know? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Hmm. We looked at the... Yeah, can we look at the map? Uh, or the lab? Look at lab. The space supplied by Incolab is tiny, even by startups. And, uh, okay, that's just what we were told. Aha. Well, we can uh, open fridge. Opening the refrigerator reveals some chicken nuggets and some crumbs. Okay, can we eat them? Eat. I'm just trying things out. <laughs> eat chicken nuggets. Some scientists are bold enough to experiment on themselves. So Isaac Newton fed himself mercury, which drove him mad for a few years. Marie Curie kept radium salt on her bedside table. If either of them were here, even they wouldn't eat those nuggets. Okay. <laughs> Okay, they've been sitting in there for a while, it seems. Okay, so you can actually do quite a lot, it seems. Um, do we have... Okay, what if we open the microwave? Is there anything in there? Microwave. Opened. Hmm. Hey, do, do I have to write it with big letters or capital letters? I don't know. Look. And futon, or look futon, it's just a mattress on the floor. Okay, anyone coming into the hall door to the north would immediately start tripping over... Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, what if I open hall door? Ooh. As soon as you start to open the hall door, it crashes open and a wild-eyed Whirling dervish of a young man explodes into the room. Hi, he says, throwing himself on the futon and jumping back up again. I'm Jack. You look into the hall beyond the door, but there are no other ca candidates waiting to be interviewed. Jack runs over and closes the door. They've all gone home, he says. I told them the position has already been filled. <laughs> Jack dashes around the room, picking up pieces of equipment to examine them and throwing them over his shoulder when he's done. He opens and closes everything, sometimes twice, as if he can't remember what he just saw seconds ago. He never stops moving. It makes you tired just watching him. Oh, your score has just increased by one point. If you'd prefer not to be notified about score changes in the future, type, type notify off. Well, I don't really know what the score means. Uh, can I do that? Look at score. You see no score here. Okay. Um, no. Uh, ex oh, that was just X, right? Examine Jack. He is a fireball of energy, constantly moving and messing with things that shouldn't be messed with. Jack is a blur of activity. He throws an imaginary football into the air. Runs to the other side of the room, catches it, strikes the Heisman trophy pose, and spikes the ball. You can talk to Jack by asking him about things. Try ask Jack about himself. Okay, ask Jack about Jack. I'm your wake up call, dude. You feel like you don't quite fit in, right? Weird things happen when you're around. Traffic lights turn red just as you get to them. Elevator doors don't close when you push the button. Your alarm clock randomly fails in the morning. There's a name for people like that. We're called budgers. I'm one and you might be one too. Jack bobs around the room. He sticks his hand in the microwave and yells, I'm melting. Um, okay. So, Jack, about... Um, magazine. Jack manages to slow down just long enough to listen. You say to him, When I was 13, I was teasing my cat with a laser pointer. I had spilled some pool chemicals on my shoes, and later I noticed that the shoes never got dirty where the laser had hit them. I figured out that anything treated with that chemical and then bathed in low-intensity laser light became resistant to dirt. I entered a science fair and won first prize and enough money to go to college. Jack races from one thing to the next. He looks in the fridge and backs away in horror. Dude, forget physics. You've discovered new life forms in there. 
<laughs> okay, if you would like to be reminded about the problem you're working on, type think. Recap. Or, okay, let's say think. You pause for a moment to reflect. Your months-long attempts to get your latest invention working have been fruitless. You're determined to do everything you can today to change your luck. Now that you've opened the door, perhaps Jack will be able to help you with that. Although it's unclear how. Jack fiddles with one of your gadgets. It emits a soft pop and a puff of smoke, then dies. And you can always simply talk to characters. Okay. Talk to... Jack, so you're really under the gun to solve this laser problem today, huh? I, it'll probably help to know whether or not you're a budget. Do you want to try and find out? Uh, sure. Great, here we go. He slips a blindfold over your eyes and everything goes dark for a moment while you hear some bumping and scraping as he moves about the room. There seems to be a lot of opening and closing of appliances and clicking of knobs. Then he whips off the blindfold and your vision returns. Okay, he says, but just do two things well. We solve puzzles and we use magic. So I've set up a simple puzzle and all you have to do is figure out the charm that will solve it. He hands you a small black book bound in some kind of unfamiliar leather. You feel a tingle the moment your fingertips graze the cover. This is your book of charms, he says, also known as a spell book. Explore the room as if you have never seen it before. As you do so, letters will appear in your spell book, and eventually they will spell out a charm. Once the charm in the book has been completed, cast the spell to get the closet key, which I have conveniently duct taped to the ceiling. He hands you a note and says, I'm going to take a nap while you work this out. He lies down on the futon and within seconds is softly snoring. Ah. Oh. Okay. Um. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so we need to... Well, didn't he just blindfold us? Uh, did he remove it again? Oh yeah, he whips off the blindfold and your vision returns. Mm. Okay, well, look uh, at lab. The space. Mm. That's just the same. Blah, 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 blah. The walls are mostly bare except for an old. Yep, otherwise, apart from that key duct tape to the ceiling, that's about it. Although there is also that pesky closet door on the east wall with the big warning notice that Jack seems to have scrawled on. The subtle differences in the room after you are blindfolded make you suspect that you will have to re-examine things you may have looked at only moments before. Jack is here asleep on the futon. The microwave contains an alphabet block. Huh. Okay. Uh, open. Microwave. Oh, it's all. It's still open. Okay, look um, at alphabet block. The block has got the letter T on all six sides. The spell book seems to tingle. When you open it up, you see you have added a letter to the spell, and my score went up. Okay. Um, look at uh, notice. It's, uh huh, overtive ink or lab or not, mm hmm. It's a faded notice that has been on the closet door since the day you moved in. You realize Jack has defaced it while you're blindfolded. It reads, property of ink or lab under no circumstances is this closet to be opened. So he marked the A. Jack has put a big red circle around the letter A in ink or lab. The spell book seems to tingle. Okay. Um, yeah, well, right now I think we're doing, we've got two letters now. Okay, look, oh, look at magazine. It's a 10-year-old cover of Invent magazine with your picture on the front and the headline, Teen Genius wins. Okay, he didn't write anything there. And look at spellbook. Okay, we need two more letters. Mm. Okay, 
look at key. It's the key to the closet that Jack has maddeningly taped to the ceilings. Mm, what else did we have? Look at French. It looks like it dates uh, from the 1940s, but at least it's working. Okay, open French. Opening the refrigerator reveals some chicken nuggets and some crumbs. It appears Jack has rearranged the nuggets so that they spell out the letter A. The spell book seems to tingle. When you open it up, you see you've added a letter to the spell. Okay, cool. Uh, now, the uh, spell book wasn't that how we could do it. Okay, so we need one more letter. Ooh, Let's see. What do what did we have to look at actually? Uh, if we just look at the lab again, I keep doing that. I get used to not typing so much. Mm. Uh, well, look. Let's keep doing that. Look, TV. Okay, that didn't really give us anything. Oh, there are some journals. You flip through a few of them, see nothing of interest, and add them to the mess on the floor. Okay, if we look to at the stool, it's a regular metal lab stool whose seat is about waist high. Hmm, what if we look at the door? Which door do I mean? The hall door, the refrigerator door, or the closet? Hey, you. Please be more... Uh, okay. Ah, so examine words as, okay, examine all door. The door is in better place. Uh, ex refrigerator door. If the EPA ever inspected this place, they'd put a warning on the door that the fridge contains hazardous waste, but they haven't, so there's nothing on the door. Um, okay, no, A-M-E. They are just odds and ends you picked up through the years. Most of the stuff doesn't even work anymore. Mm, there's a, well, there's a futon. The walls are mostly bare. Maybe, well, we can look at Jack, for instance. Jack is in his mid-twenties. He is real thin, with brown hair and brown eyes. Although at the moment, of course, you can't see his eyes because he is asleep. Ah, then we can look at the futon, just an, okay, look at the C C ceiling. The pleasantly high ceiling is perhaps the only redeeming virtue of your cramped lab, although right now its appearance is marred by the key that Jack duct taped to it. Okay, what have we not? Um, look under futon. Kinderly, you lift one corner of the futon and peek underneath, expecting to find something cool like a trapdoor or a secret message. But what you find is nothing. Um, okay, what have we not? There's a TV. Um, ancient fridge. Microwave, the futon. Is there anything else that we haven't really? Magazine cover. Well, we already looked at that. Hmm. Uh, examine walls. First of all, the only interesting thing on the wall is the old magazine cover. The closet door is on the east wall, the door to the hall is set into the north wall, and the south wall is bare. Hmm. Uh, closet door. It's an ordinary closet door with a big notice posted on it. At the moment it is closed. Upon closer scrutiny, it looks as if Jack has done something to the notice. Yeah, well, we already checked that one. Huh. What are we missing? Uh, do, 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 do. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, the warning notice, we have checked that. Hmm. Okay, there's the spell book, of course. No, I'm too stubborn, I don't want hints just yet. Okay, we have the block, that's why we got the T. Uh, then we got uh, the A from the notice, there was nothing on the magazine. That was just a magazine cover. And then we got something from the fridge. Yep. What did he do? Okay, he did some stuff eventually. What? Uh, he has some bumping and scraping as he moves about the room. There seems to be a lot of opening and closing and clicking of knobs. Mm. Okay. What if we turn on TV? I don't see how that will help, but okay. Um, you turn on the TV and are, are rewarded with a screen full of static, the, through which you can just make out the letter L. The spell book seems to tingle. When you open it up, you see a, you have added a letter. And not only that, but the spell is now complete. Okay, what do we do when the spell is complete? Here, oops, what did he say about that? Oh. Well, if we use this, how do we use a spell? Uh, X spell book. Okay. Answer, self-levitate. Hey, what if we just write, Alter? Does that work? Whoa! Suddenly your head is spinning. You feel unsteady on your feet and then look down to realize you're not on your feet. You're hovering in mid-air. After a few seconds of this vertigo-inducing experience, you cease hovering and come back down. You've always been a practical sort, not one to believe in superstitions or magic. But now you're wondering if it might be time to change your worldview. Uh huh. So how do I go and get the key? If I just want to get that. Um. X key. Alter uh, again. You're ready for it this time. You float a few inches off the ground, but not nearly high enough to take the key before settling back to the floor. Huh. So how do I go up? The altar. Up. I have no idea. You see no up here. Hmm. You float a few inches off the ground, but not nearly high enough. Okay. Hmm. Um. Hmm. So how do we do that? Well, what if we take the lap stone? Can we take something? Take stool. Stool is too awkward to carry around. Okay, move. Stool. Just where you want it. Okay. A climb. Stool. Okay, you're now standing on the stool. Okay, what if I say alter now? You rise up into the air just high enough and just long enough to rip the key from the ceiling. You clutch it tightly in your fist as you float down to the stool and then leap back to the floor in triumph. Very, very, very nice. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end the episode there. I know that now the point is we need to open the closet door because we got the key. But I don't really, um, I don't want to spoil uh, more in this episode. Um, but now I'm going to leave it as a, um, a first look, uh, kind of a little intro to this type of game. And then you'll have to... Uh, Leave me a comment if you would like to see more of it, if you feel like I should do a series on it. But otherwise I'll just play it for myself. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys that there's this kind of a game out there. I'm already excited actually. I, I didn't really think I would be, but I am. 
Uh, just because I solved this first little puzzle um, and it sounds pretty interesting but it is kind of funny because for me at least I started having pictures in my head you know in the beginning I was a little confused but it reminds me of reading I've already always read a ton of books which I kind of stopped with a little bit I don't read as much as I did when I was younger because now I'm playing computer games uh, but I still like reading, and this reminds me of it because it kind of uh, piques your imagine imagination. So you have to picture the things you're reading, and it's kind of the same with this game. So it's quite interesting, actually. Um, I think it's something I, I might play more of, but uh, I'll see when I'm done with this. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Um, I'm, I might leave a little gap because I'm going to let the, this... Uh, go live tomorrow on Monday and then I might not put anything Tuesday I'll just give you guys like a day or so to uh, decide if you would like to see more of it and uh, if uh, if there isn't really anyone interested in seeing more then I'll just see if I have another game I might start out with on Wednesday because I do have some other like story games in certain ways different from this one uh, that I would like to show you guys. So anyway, I hope you found it interesting and uh, yeah, let me know what you think and uh, if it's something you have any experience with. So do take care everyone and uh, happy gaming!